Hello everybody, Brad on YouTube again, and I want to do a review of this bottle here. This one's a Creed Himalaya bottle. Uh, this is basically like a um, response video to Mark's video because he just did his own take on it. Now, before I even tell you anything else, I want to let you know that I got this off of eBay about five years ago, and it was maybe 60 bucks. So a lot of you guys are probably thinking, oh gee, you got yourself a fake or a knockoff or something because there's no way you're going to get a four ounce bottle of Creed Himalaya for 60 bucks. So take that for what it's worth. I can show you what the bottle is all about here. On the back here it says Euro, not for sale. The bottom says made in France. And of course there's some, apparently some, looks like French um, words down below Himalaya. So that's what the bottle looks like. It didn't have a cap. It's my understanding that it was a tester. Um, so maybe it's an old tester. Maybe it's a fake. I have no idea. But uh, let me tell you uh, my impressions of what I have to work with here. Um, I looked up some information on the internet. It says a 2002 release. Top notes of mandarin, orange grapefruit, bergamot lemon. Middle notes, sandalwood, vetiver, cedar, base of musk and ambergris. <clears throat> so I smell this fragrance. And if I had to draw a comparison to anything that I've smelled before, I definitely get the Paco Rabanne excess vibe. I had a mini of that. No longer have it in my collection, but I distinctly remember that uh, smell. Very, to me, it had like a classic barber shop musk smell to it. Pretty much what I'm getting here. You know, this kind of smells like something a fan of classic scents would enjoy. Old Spice, Brute, and I put Paco Rabanne Excess in that general category as well because it just has that clean barber shop musk type smell to it. So I don't know if that's anything at all what um, Creed Himalaya is all about. I don't really get any, you know, fresh fruity top note there. Um... You know, if it's there, it's it's pretty much masked out by the other notes. So, you know, I don't really consider this to be anything citrus related. I do remember when I first started wearing this, I did get one compliment. A lady told me I smelled heavenly. Um, I don't really wear this one anymore. I've stopped wearing it for some reason. I think I just bought so many other fragrances. This one kind of got pushed to the back of my shelf. Um... I know one day I wore it and somebody said it was too strong. Maybe I overapplied. This sprayer is very um, generous. Um, it's like a fire hose almost when you when you employ it. So one of the strongest sprayers that I have in my collection, which I think is also normal for Creed fragrances anyway. The, the sprayers are very potent. Um, I don't know if the fragrance has changed over the years. I haven't really... Um, thought much about this one recently, but uh, like I said, it's about five years old, so that's pretty much my impression. I would say very similar to Paco Rabanne's Excess, kind of like an old school musky smell. Um, so that's pretty much all I have to say. Thanks for watching.